number one spender in healthcare worldwide, right? Yeah. We spend north of $4 trillion a year on, on healthcare. So you would think that there'd be a correlation between the amount of money we spend and the and our quality of care. We're ranked 59th in the world for quality of care, and we're ranked 39th in the world for life expectancy. Oh, so wow. you would think there'd be some correlation between this massive trillion dollar industry called healthcare and its contribution to either living a healthy, happy, longer life, but the truth is there's there's the opposite. You know, we built an industry around disease, not an industry around prevention. What you want to test when you look at patient's DNA mm -hmm. is you want to look at what's called the, the genes of methylation. Okay. So methylation in a human being is the process of taking a raw material that's put into the body, folic acid, for example, and converting it into the usable form. Okay. So in other words, in human beings, there is not a single compound, not one, that we put into the human body. There's no vitamin, no mineral, no amino acid, no carbohydrate, no protein, no nothing that enters our body that is used in the format that we put it in. Because it's converted or broken down to something else. It's converted or it's broken down into something else so that the body can use it. What? So, so back to the postpartum depression. Yeah. What what has happens there? So they took they thought they were taking folic acid for their mm -hmm. pregnancy to protect the baby. Yeah. Usually, it coincides when they stop actually taking their prenatal. Okay. And so what happens is they blame it on the pregnancy, not on the vitamin. Wow. And so, if on the other hand, these women were given methylfolate, then they would have had um, the postpartum depression. I have yet to see a single peer reviewed published clinical study linking elevated levels of hormones mm -hmm. to postpartum depression. Yeah. It's perfectly normal for a female's estrogen to go from in the 400s to in the 4000s. So it's not the skyrocketing level of estrogen, that's a perfectly normal physiologic response. It's not the actual change in the ratio of hormones, these are normal physiologic responses. It is the addition of a synthetic form of folate that their body cannot process. <laughs> And this is where human beings get our energy. We're actually not you know, powered by the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, the supplements we take. We're powered by one energy source called ATP, ATP, adenosine yeah. triphosphate. And the more efficient we are at creating this energy source, the healthier we are as an organism. Is this why people can fast and still have crazy good amount of energy? No question, because think about what happens in fasting. You know, the body starts to ration itself right? So it's, it starts to say, okay, well, if I'm not going to get food, um, now I'm going to switch my fuel source to fat. So then it starts to burn fat. A little bit back to the fasting thing. Mm -hmm. um, does the body naturally protect against muscle wasting or is it going to... Yes. It does. Yes. It'll, it will preserve um, muscle. Now, don't get me wrong. If you put an intense demand on the body. So if you went and did a really intense workout in a fasted state, yeah. your body would convert your own lean muscle into amino acids. It would actually fuel that workout from your own lean from, muscle. Okay. This is so why it break even, proteins down to create a sugar? It will actually create, yes, it will break proteins down to create a sugar. Okay. Exactly. I mean, I do have a lot of clients where women are tr are training and they're they're following a diet. They're training for six weeks. They're doing like an hour and a half workouts a day, and they're not losing any weight. Oh, I explain exactly why that's what. Happening. What's going on? Um, and I ha and I get 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 this all the time. You know, women will come in and say, you know, I don't get it, Gary. I, I wake up in the morning. I'm fasted. I have a cup of black coffee. I go to you know Orange Theory. You know, Orange yeah. Theory. Yeah. So they they go to Orange Theory. They go hammer down for 55 minutes, and they're like, look, I've been doing this five six days a week. For three months, I haven't lost a single pound. I don't get it. You yeah. know, I'm not even eating. And I go, well, you're not eating, um, but your body is. It's just eating you. If you want to spend the rest of your life supplementing for deficiency mm -hmm. rather than supplementing just for the sake of supplementing, mm -hmm. you need to do this test. Yeah. Because right now, most people, when they take supplements, they're just kind of guessing. You know, Absolutely. I heard ashwagandha was good and CoQ10, and I should probably take some vitamin C. And I've always felt so overwhelmed with the conflicting information. <laughs>